What's happening? How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Um, so, really looking forward to getting this event rolling. Yeah, mate, definitely. So obviously, um, as everyone's aware, this is a bit of a weird platform that we've got right now, but um, we're both super busy, so we couldn't actually get together to, to do this video. However, well, let, let's go. Let's get it underway. Yeah, man. Um, super hyped for this for our next event. Um, I know the first Ruckus 1, Ruckus 2 was um, off the charts in every aspect. Gameplay, pyro, the works, right? Yeah, we had the, we had the lot. Lots of people have asked us for a night game. Um, we know that sites aren't doing them. We can't work out why. You know, lots of people are interested in them. We said, you know, if we can squeeze one into this year, we absolutely would. So we're putting Ruckus Noir on. Um, it is on the second of October, so that's Saturday night. And we just wanted to put this video together to address all the common questions that we get asked. Hundreds of DMs normally, right, Richie? Yeah, we just yeah. get crazy levels. So, yeah, we, we obviously, you know, between myself and Tim, you know, we, we get at least a couple of questions, uh, you know, a day, you know, that's before, you know, say after a video goes up. But we yeah. just want to find video. So you guys can click here, scrub through, pick out all the information that you need for this event. So without further ado, let's get cracking, right? So as Tim said, um, 2nd of October is a Saturday so it still gives you Saturday day to do what you need to do. Um, arrivals. Well, actually, first of all, let's do let's do cost, right? Let's, what, what's it? What's it going to? What's it going to hurt? Hurt the old skyrocket? So it's thirty five pounds. It's a fifteen pound deposit, and we're doing deposits this time because there is only forty spaces available. Yeah. Now I know people can say it's a giant site. You know why forty? You know why the lower numbers? Um, Richie, I'll let you jump into the safety. You know, that's our primary concern. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, so, you know, anyone that's been to the quarry knows it's a very big site. Um, with And the terrain there is is awesome, but unforgiving. You know, yeah. some of the hills, some of the drops are almost sheer, um, you know, and that's without any of the sort of stuff that you, that's in the ground. Because it is a working quarry, right? You know, there's bits of metal in the ground. You know, there's bits of wood, um, tires, all sorts kicking around the site. So we wanted to keep the numbers low, uh, the numbers low, just so you know, we from a safety perspective, we can keep and you know, we can keep tabs on everyone. You know, we've got a, a much lower number uh, of of um, people to try and keep safe. If that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Secondary to that is gameplay. Now. I've been at a night event, same as Richie, with hundreds of players either side, down to 70, 80 players either side, and down to 10 players either side. I believe that 40 from 20 on 20 is a really nice number, and especially for the length of time that you're going to be out on the ground, and we'll talk about that a bit further on, to have a really strategic firefight under nods. Like, yes, there's going to be the tense firefights and tear ups, but just the way that the terrain works, Richie, and me and you have you know, played on this site ourselves, mm -hmm. I think low numbers will kind of almost drive people to be a little bit more strategic with the way that they move around, whether that's with white light or not. A absolutely. So just off the back of that, mate, you know, let, let's let's jump into what, what the Ruckus Noir is about. So much like the other, other Ruckus events, you know, it's not, you know, uh, it's not a long drawn out storyline with any sort of, you know, theatrical play. It really is maximum trigger time. You Absolutely. know, just want to get you guys out there, hitting, slapping other players, licking off pyro and having uh, the, the maximum amount of uh, fun time you can have in your time with us at the summit. Um, so, but that being said, obviously, like, like, as you said, Tim, lower numbers on that size site, you know, we've played there. It just gives players that more option to, creep around you know take your time you know it's yes it's going to be a, a good old-fashioned dust up but at the same time we want to give players the chance to creep around let's face it you know we buy night vision and play night game with white light etc just creep around you know and get the yeah. jump on the players and that's that's it so that hopefully will explain that the numbers can in regards of that 35 pound payment 15 percent of that is a deposit to book your your slot um, that deposit comes through to my email address that will be linked in the uh, my PayPal account that will be linked in the description below. 
What you need to do when you put that payment through is your name and what team you're going to be on. Um, and that is a £15 payment that leaves 20 to pay on the night of your arrival. So talking about those two teams, Richie, we have yep. team one and team two. Could you just take us through what they are? Yeah, so obviously we know not everyone's going to have night vision at this, this event, and we love that, okay? This isn't just an elite event for people with envy. You know, if you've got white light, come down. If you don't have white light, come down anyway. That being said, you know, we've kind of got, we've got two teams. So team one, and this is to help identify each team under nods. We kind of wanted to steer away from the armband options, really, because, you know, it kind of a, gr a bright yellow or bright red armband, you know, um, out there kind of we feel day games cool but night games we just want to steer away from that a little bit so team one is going to be block colors okay now that can be anything you like okay so you can have od trousers black top all in black all in green all in white um <laughs> all in a luminous pink if you wish don't if you if you're dressing like that don't turn up i'm just kidding um but no Likewise, or for all you tactical guys out there, if you want to wear jeans, you know, grey top, whatever. As long we, we kind of want to keep it block colours. So yeah. that's team one. Uh, team two is going to be uh, anything that has a camouflage pattern. So yeah. that can be, that's anything, right? Multicam, M81. Yeah. Um, and if you come down in, uh, you know, like a CAD pack, we'll probably send you packing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just kidding. So any any sort of um, any sort of camouflage pattern is cool for Team Two. Yeah. Regarding the kit you're wearing, so that's lid, belt, plate carriers, um, any other sort of uh, holsters, holsters, chest, uh, chest rigs, backpacks, anything like that. They can be any color, right? They can be yeah. anything, any pattern, anything. It's really about the clothing that you've got on. Yeah, it, it, it's 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 the the the, the clothing that takes up the, the majority of your body. <clears throat> so just to reiterate, team one is block colours, team two is um, camouflage patterns. Right, camouflage pattern. Now, me and Tim have done this on a number of uh, games and mill sims, etc. I would advise if you have the option, pack a spare set of clothes for the opposite team. Okay. Just yeah just in case obviously we're going to try and balance the teams as best we can um as the bookies come in but likewise guys if you do have another set of clothes and much like me and tim do if you if you're on a team and you think you know what i actually fancy going up against the guys that i'm with <laughs> rather than playing with them yeah you can switch over okay so there's that um richie even if that is you know a pair of jeans and a hoodie and you've brought down your combat shirt and uh, combat trousers, and you yeah. want to chill on the night. We can be flexible with moving people around as long as it isn't big groups. Um, and you know, that might give you a little bit of flexibility if you're a nod user to go up against a big group of other guys with nods. At the same time, you're you know, got nods, you want to cut out with your white light and, and, and ditch your lid off for, for a game, then you can do that as well. So, if you do want to bring both sets down, as long as we keep the teams balanced, you can feel free to move between the two. But what we cannot have is someone rock up. With a pair of jeans and you know one of these on, you, yeah. you cannot mix at all. So it's either block color clothing or camouflage clothing. No mixtures at all. If you've got a mixture, then we'll try and sort you out with something that isn't mixed to align you. But we can't guarantee that on the night. So please yeah. don't come down half and half. Um, it will just cause chaos for us. Yeah, and obviously just to reiterate what Tim said, it's super important, guys. When you do book on, please put your full name okay and uh what team you're on so full name and your team not uh not a youtube handle or an instagram handle full name and what team you're on because it just saves tim having another stroke um he's just recovered so <laughs> from ruckus so <laughs> um, yeah, it was mayhem um so team sorted you know you guys know the location we'll make sure it's linked below but it's going to be the thg quarry it's down in dover and kent um and the arrivals on site will be from 5 p.m. Now, I would say get there 5 p.m. pretty sharpish to get yourself yeah. settled, dialed in, and sorted. We will start safety brief about 6.30, so it gives you 90 minutes to get changed, 
have a gas with everyone, get some fuel in you, get the gun dialed in, get chronoed, get signed up, signed in, all those sorts of things, uh, and then get ready for the safety brief at half past. Um, yeah. That is with the, with the intent of being out on the ground, ready to go at seven. So that's a two hour window. So you will be in twilight at that point. So, you know, guys that are out there in white light, use this to your advantage, obviously to get a good understanding of the lay of the land. And, you know, if you're MVG users, users, it'll be really good for you to transition between the two of going out, you know, without the nods and then flipping them down as it begins to get dark. Yeah. Um, we spoke about this before, which is to how we wanted to play the sessions out. Yeah. And we agreed that two two hour long sessions would give you guys the maximum amount of time out on the ground. Also that capability to creep or sneak into a position. And we both thought that was really important rather than yeah. doing shorter games that are traditional with, with other sites. Yeah, Look, definitely. You know, obviously our maximum priority um, for this game and our previous games is, you know, maximum trigger time for you guys. <clears throat> you know, we don't you. We really don't want you guys going back to the safe zone, back to your cars, having a fiddle about with kit. Oh, I might take this, I might change this, come out, I might do that. You know, no, we just want you out of the ground. What we would advise is taking some sort of rucksack, bag, pelly case, anything like that that you can um, bring with you. We want you to take that with you to your start point, to your respawn um, of each one of the two games. Just so, you know, you're not going back and from the, the safe zone going, oh, I just need to bomb up, I just need to get some more pyro. Please just take it all out with you, label it up, mark a pen it, do whatever you need. That's that. BBs, pyro, um, spare batteries for your torches, nods, everything. Just please take it with you. Yeah, alternative to that, if you are running a day sack or you've got a small pack that you can throw over the top of your plate carrier, bash everything in there, then you've got it out on the ground with you. If you get into a sneaky position or if you get nicely tucked in and you realise you haven't bought your battery for your nods or your gun dies or whatever happens, you've got it with you to regen. If you don't have something like that, then please feel free to leave it um, at the regen point out on the ground. But, you know, you are out on the ground for two hours. Please make sure that you are prepared, like, prepared and, and ready for that. You know, it's a fairly yeah. long time. You know, this isn't you know, a 25-minute turnaround event. Yeah, and um, like I said, there will be a marshal on each respawn, so your kit will be absolutely safe, so please don't worry about that. We wish not to be left out there in the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, medic rules. Richie, medic rules. Very, think? very, very, very important. So, please, if you, if you ignore everything else in this video, please listen to this. So you need to bring with you a bandage or, or tourniquet, one of the two, something that you can wrap around your arm to signify that you have been shot and then medic, okay? So first, first time you're shot, put your hand up, hit, you then need to shout for a medic. Um, anyone in your team can medic you. They can pull you a little way into cover. We don't want people taking the mic and dragging you 300 meters, um, but you can drag them a little bit into cover. Your teammate will then apply the bandage slash tourniquet, okay? At which point we do kind of want you guys to shout as loud as you can back in, okay? Yeah. To signify that you're, you've been medic and you're back in because we can understand it. It can be very confusing at night time. You drop someone or you think you've hit someone, they put the hand up, duck down. Unbeknown to you, they've been medic, but then all of a sudden they pop up and start shooting at you. Yeah. So this is where we kind of want you guys to sort of shout back in once you're medic, okay? Um, Slightly different, a little different addition. It might be a bit difficult to take on board, but please do uh, do try and do that. Second hit. Second time you you get hit, um, or you're struck with a BB, and you have your tourniquet or bandage on, back to regen. Yeah. Which which won't won't be too far away. So don't don't try and stress about that, guys. Yeah, you know that is that we'll make sure that the regens are close enough. You know you can travel to and from the regen as fast as you like you know i know you guys are going to want to get stuck in so you know if you want to bounce back there touch the regen point and and hoof back out you absolutely can um in regards to pyro and what pyro you can use we are allowing tags to be played with at night we are allowing mortars to be played with at night impacts and throwable pyro also and smokes don't underestimate how good smokes are at night. I just want to put that in there. It's one yeah. of Richie's absolutely favourite things is to have a load of smokes with us when we're out under knots. 
Yeah. No flares, no shamulis, no pen flares, nothing like that. Um, and it's purely down to the safety of the players. I've seen them implemented really well. At the same time, I've also seen them implemented really poorly and people nearly get burnt. Yeah. Um, so no flares, uh, no shamulis, nothing like that, okay? Yeah. Um, in regards of being hit with pyro, if Richie throws an impact, you've got a five metre radius, uh, sorry, a five metre diameter. So five metres in all directions from where that pyro landed. That is the same for tags. That is the same for mortars. Um, MED on tags and mortars is 30 metres, the same as the uh, minimum engagement for our DMRs uh, and marksman rifles. So yeah. all the so, MED is 30 metres. Yeah. Um, yeah, spot on, mate. Uh, again, just touching on the um, power limits for your for your weapon systems that you're bringing, like Tim says, 30 meter MED for snipers and DMRs, pretty standard there. Um, so again, AGs, anything capable of firing full auto is 370. DMRs are 400. Yeah. And then sniper rifles are 500 FPS. So pretty pretty standard. Um, FPS rules, but we, 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 everyone will get chronoed, and um, we do want guys to be super, super honest for that. Yeah, if you are considering swapping out, using a couple of guns or anything like that, what we suggest: take both guns up to chrono in the morning, uh, in the eye, in the evening. Uh, take both of them up there, get them both chronoed, get a zip tie on both of them, and then you can swap them out throughout the night. What will be difficult is halfway through the night, you consider swapping. You need to bounce back then we need to get someone on the chrono to chrono so if you're thinking about bringing multiple guns some of you guys might want to get tight and dirty take the mv7 same time some of you're going to take your your big boy scars and your longs and whatever just get them all chronoed at the the start of the evening so that that's done and dusted and that's underway uh, and then you can swap out as you need to throughout the night yeah yeah absolutely um so just sort of bouncing back then to a safety perspective will we do um, I, I would say this is almost a minimum requirement, right? We want everyone to have a head torch with them. Yeah. A head torch or, and, you know, as well as, if not also, uh, some sort of big handheld white light, okay? I cannot stress enough, you know, this site is dangerous enough during the day. At night time, you know, we really want you guys to take care. Please, you know, be careful. But if anything should happen, we want you guys to be able to just get your white light out. You know, if you're not sure, I know it's. A, I know you're trying to be tactical and all this uh, tactical, you know. But please, if you're not sure, just get your white light out, light out. Have a quick look, see where you're going. You know, if you think it's a big drop, please just check it. Likewise, yeah. should anything go wrong, it shouldn't. But we want you to be able to just flash your white light. You know, shout for help, and yeah. you know, marshals will be there ASAP. We won't be using the full length, breadth, and everything in the site. We're going to break the the, the, the the games up. That doesn't mean that players won't want to use the full length and breadth of the site. So yeah. if it does go down, we need to make sure that you're all right. Um, me and Richie was there not that long ago, uh, and we checked over the back, and there are some very, very steep banks over the back that are probably 40, 50 feet, and they are almost near vertical. Yeah. There's this tall grass burn over the top of them so you're going to walk through that long grass that's almost chest height and uh and, and 60 feet down so absolutely imperative that you've got some form of head torch that you can have around your neck just in case you take a tumble uh, and some form of, of strong white light if that's a weapon light if it's you know something handheld whatever just just make sure you've got something to be able to light up the ground in front of you that, that's powerful enough uh, for you to be able to determine whether it's safe you know your safety is most in pro a priority of up to us and we also know this site is super super dangerous so you know we need to be honest with you it is a dangerous dangerous site yeah. so please yeah. that's consideration coming down definitely um so i think that just about covers everything I so, think so i think, I think so, so. <laughs> um obviously a much longer video, video than we anticipated but we'd rather get all the information in here. You guys can watch it as many times as you like. You know, scrub through. All the info will be in here. Um, if not, if there is a random outlying question, and there yeah. might be, please put it in the comments box below. We will address Absolutely. it. If you've got questions, put them on the comments, and we will address them. Read for other people's comments. See the sort of stuff that's coming up. 
all the time into there. Me and Richard will be available throughout the whole night. We'll have a ton of marshals there as well. We will have a safe zone where you can come to uh, mid-game. If anything does go wrong, any big emergencies, we'll be going back through uh, to the main safety zone down by the gates. All of this will be explained again on the night, but we just want you guys to be uh, as clued up as possible, turn up, ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and again, without trying to put you know, a Debbie down on it, you know, we want you guys to have you know the utmost fun you know creeping around you know a, a very what is a very very cool site a very unique site in in, in this day and age of, of airsoft um but we, most importantly we want you to be safe that is i cannot stress enough at, you know uh how important that is so with that i think we're done um so guys you know like please uh if you can once you've watched this video and you've inwardly digested everything please uh hit the like <laughs> um, uh, subscribe for, for more content and the bell icon just to see when we need to upload something new perfect awesome right guys we will see you all at the next event um we are looking forward to seeing you all there's 40 spaces available once they are done that once they are done and gone they're gone so that's it yeah get booked up and we will see you in a couple of weeks time